Hey, Stella here. Welcome to my uh, my little video. If you've been before, um, thank you for coming back. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. It really helps um, my channel go out there, and it will encourage me to give you more. Okay, I'm going to do a run through or a walk through of this beautiful magical fairy teapot album or memory book as I prefer to call them. It is quite heavy, but it's very heavy, so I wouldn't recommend it being posted. Uh, we've got some dangles and a little bell which actually jingles. Get some ribbons and some beads and some bling. You've got to have bling. Okay, and there's the back. Let's see if I can put it in the middle. And just pull that up a bit. Right. made flower up in the corner there. These graphics were purchased on Etsy and I will link, I think I've linked it on, um, on my actual tutorial but I'll link it again. Okay, when we open it here they have a little box in there and it's got the same picture just split in two and in here we've got we've got a photo mat whoops two photo mats with some little um, fairy houses and then in here we've got a little booklet for either photos or journaling. And in here we've got a little boxed envelope with a magnet and we've got some tags in there for photos or journaling. You can separate them from here and pop them with any photo if you like. Just pop that back in there. handy little spot. Okay, and I have included this um, little, what would you call it? Um, yeah, big one of them. What do you call them? Paper clips. And this one you can pop a pen through. So if you want to add journaling to uh, to this album, you can pop your pen in there. We'll put that back in a mo. And this is magnetized. This little ribbon. You've got room for photos there. Under here you've got room for photos there and there if you wish. And on the bottom the same and then this opens up like that these little tuck spots you can pop little photos in there if you wish you know the kinds you get in the in the mall sometimes with a machine you go in and sit and you get the strip of photos they'd be perfect to go in there or any little photos or even journaling, little journaling pieces. And then on this side we've got the same as the other one. The same. You can put photos on here, but that would be covering that, wouldn't it? I've tried to make it so you've got plenty of room for photos, plus you can still keep these beautiful pieces available to view. And you close that one up like 
that. Hang on a sec. And then. Close that. And I'll just pop this back in. Okay, our next page. This comes away. It's got a magnet, magnets on the back. You could get um, four photos in there, at least four, depending on the size, and that's magnetized to that page. You could add photos to that page if you wanted to. I wouldn't. Um, some just blank journaling pages, and that's just stuck in there. That is sewn in. And then over here we have a room for photos and up photos again and I have done the same image there as there so you can cover one with a photo that gives you another option and the same with this one but this one comes down and it's got the same image and we've got some nice braid across here quite a heavy, heavy book. Okay, on this page we've got some nice lace. We've got a pocket there and a pocket here. Up here we've got some beautiful um, tags. You can journal them or put photos. And I've, I've put them together with a, what would you call that? Rivet plastic rivet. Um, it's not a brad. Hmm. Words escape me sometimes. And we've got another lot of them. We've got three sets of these actually. And if you didn't want them, you know, together, you can just snap that rivet off. Let's call it a rivet. Snap it off and you can pop these anywhere in the album you want. Okay, and over here we've got flower and some beautiful lace down here. Magnet. And up here we've got room for a photo and it can tuck under there easily. And here we've got some more tags. But these ones I've just put in together with the ribbon. I think there's four here. Yep. The tea house, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, opens up. Let's move it across. And in here, we have room for photos. Photo. And there's all well. this one comes down. And on this page, we have little booklets for photos, decorated, and I decorated that with some, with some lace, just give it an extra dimension. And over here, we have these, you can put a photo here as well, these beautiful little fairies. And then on this side of it, we have a waterfall. And each one's got a little resin flower on it. Room for a photo. this with an organza ribbon okay and that just goes there no it doesn't that goes in first 
and that closes over and snap. Okay, over here we have a pocket with some lovely cupcakes and inside we have a large folder. You can put four photographs in there and on the, a couple on the back if you want. And here is an envelope for extra photos or secret messages. And here is another envelope. Okay, over here I love this bit. I really love this bit. This beautiful, beautiful lace is amazing. So what I did was I just cut the picture down that way. And then we could open this part here and this part with the ribbon there. You can put photos here and here. And this she does. She lifts off and she's magnetized to go here and it's just a little folder as the others are but I've just added some um, organza ribbon for a closure. So bring that down and you've got room for, oh, excuse me, just check that. Okay, you can put two photos here, with three by four, and then there's another little photo mat there, and places for two little photos, maybe another one here, and the same goes for the top, the same goes for the top, oops, there we go, another little waterfall type. Let's just grab it. Okay, this page, this is just a little little tucking spot. And we've got another little either a notepad or a little booklet. And you can pop something behind here, a little photo or some journaling. And this does open can pop photos in here. This just sits in. Just like that. And this is a waterfall. And each one has a little fairy girls. And depending on the size of your photo you can get one or two on the back of each each photo. I mean each page. They're just exquisite. And this is a lovely soft torn ribbon. It's beautiful. Is that? There's no closure on it. I didn't think it needed a closure. There's just plenty of room for your photographs and if you look from the top you can see there's plenty of room everywhere to type photos. Okay so 
that's my um, Teapot Fairies memory book. I hope you liked it. Did you watch me make it? I hope you made a comment. I would love to read your comments. Thanks very much, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.